safety of the police. They have sacrificed their sweat. They have sacrificed their time. Most regrettably, many have paid the ultimate price of, with their lives, trying to pass the message to this tone deaf Ruto regime. To prevent further unnecessary confrontations and loss of life, we call upon William Ruto to heed the people's voice and to exit the stage, to resign. Enough is enough to corruption, to incompetence, and to brutality. John F. Kennedy once said, those who make peaceful evolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Kenya doesn't need to go that way. We have to do everything in our power to avoid this from happening and to save our country. Once again, we are saying that William Ruto has lost, and it's not just Ruto. Ruto symbolizes the entire regime. So those who think that when people call for Ruto to go, it means Ruto goes and somebody else is left behind, they are mistaken. This is a loss of confidence in the Toto regime. It's about William Ruto and his entire regime and complement exiting the stage. The government is irredeemably corrupt, opaque, and murderous. Actually treasonous, if I may use his words. A regime that kills its people is treasonous. So he should apply his own words to himself and his regime. It is evident that this regime holds little or no value for human life and continues to perpetrate violence on its own people. We should not forget that on the 25th of June, there were snipers on the roof of parliament. The work of snipers is to kill, is to put people out. So whatever 